Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Communion by Whitley Strieber. Now, Communion was published in 1987. Now, Whitley Strieber has claimed that he was abducted by aliens, and this book was written about his experiences. Now, Whitley Strieber has written a lot of fiction books as well. Like, before this, he wrote the book The Hunger, which Tony Scott made into the movie The Hunger with Susan Sarandon and David Bowie. And he's written many other books as well, which have been made into movies. Now, I've always been interested in the subject of alien abductions and UFOs. Like, I remember I always used to watch, like, documentaries on UFOs and alien abductions, like, when I was a little kid, and they would always freak me out, so I've always been interested in the subject. Now, do I actually believe in alien abductions? I'm gonna say that I actually do believe that there is life on other planets because our universe is so fucking huge and really when you think about it, Earth is nothing more than a tiny speck of dust compared to the entire universe, so I think it's kind of ridiculous to believe that in all that space, Earth is the only tiny speck of dust with life on it. So I do believe there is life on other planets, but do I believe that life from other planets has actually visited us? That, I'm not 100% sure if I believe or not. So, even though I do believe that there is life on other planets, I don't know if I 100% believe that aliens have actually come to Earth and abducted people. I certainly consider the possibility of it. I guess you can say I'm kind of a skeptic when it comes to that. It's kind of the same thing, um, if you remember a year ago, I reviewed the book The Animeville Horror. Now, personally, I don't believe the Animeville Horror was a true story at all. I believe the Lutzes made that shit up. But I said in that review that when it comes to the subject of ghosts and demons, I said in that review that I don't doubt the existence of ghosts and demons because, in my opinion, there's really no proof one way or the other whether things like that actually exist. It's kind. I kind of have the same feeling on stuff like alien abductions. I really don't know if I believe or disbelieve the the subject of alien abductions, but in my opinion, there's really no proof one way or the other. Now, when it comes to the subject of this book, I certainly do believe that Whitley Schreiber, I believe that he believes all this stuff happened to him, because I've seen him in interviews that were recorded years after this book was written, and he still claims that all this stuff happened to him, and I feel like if this was some kind of a prank, at this point, he would have come out and said so at this point, but no, he still claims this stuff happened to him, and I even saw an interview with him, and he said that he had an experience in, like, the 90s or something, so he's claimed he's had experiences even after he wrote this book, so I certainly do believe that he believes all this happened to him. So, the book begins around Christmas time in the year 1985, and it follows Whitley and his family, who are staying at this cabin that they own in upstate New York, and what happens is, in the book, he ends up getting abducted by aliens, and it turns out he had another experience in October of that same year, but he doesn't really remember it very much, and what happens is, in the, in the book, he ends up undergoing hypnosis, and he starts remembering more about his experiences in both December and October of 19. 85, and he also starts remembering that he's had other experiences throughout his entire life. 
Now, I thought Communion was a very interesting read. I thought it was a really, really interesting and thought-provoking book. Now, even if you don't believe this story at all, it's still definitely an interesting book, and I do recommend giving this book a read, even if you don't believe this story at all. And there are parts of this book that are just creepy as hell. But I don't think that was Schreiber's complete intention to creep people out with this book, even though it is a very creepy book. Really, he even mentions at a certain point in this book that he doesn't want people to go into this book with a sense of fear. The whole point that he's trying to make with this book is he wants people to embrace the unknown rather than reject it. And the way Whitley Schreiber talks about the aliens in this book, the way he describes them, he describes them as being almost spiritual in nature. Also, in this book, he presents some really interesting theories on what these aliens could actually be, some of them even suggesting that the aliens are not actually from outer space, but could possibly be from another time or even another dimension. He also comes up with a theory that what if all these stories that we have heard throughout man's history about fairies or demons or something are all actually stories about encounters with these beings. Now, one thing that was kind of creepy for me, now, every summer I stay at this guy's house in upstate New York. I have a friend who has a house in upstate New York in, it's not necessarily deep in the woods, but it's in a very woodsy area, and I was actually reading this book when I was staying at this guy's house, and this guy that I know actually doesn't live too far from the cabin that Whitley Schreiber was staying at when he was abducted by aliens. And in this book, Schreiber even mentions some of the counties that are in his area, and one of them is actually the county that my friend lives at. So yeah, I definitely recommend Communion. I thought it was a really interesting book, and if you're interested in the subject of alien abductions and UFO sightings, I would definitely recommend given this book a read. Now, this book was made into a movie in 1989. Now, I've never seen the movie, so I really can't comment too much on it, but in the movie, Christopher Walken actually played Whitley Schreiber in the film. So yeah, that's my review on Communion, and bye.